ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಬನುತಪಾಲಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ಪಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಕಾಮ ಕರುಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಯುಧಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ತಸ್ವೈವ ಹೇತು ಪ್ರಜತೇತು ಕೋವಿದ 
नलभ्यति यद भ्रमताम पर्यद तल्यभ्यति दुख बद अन्न तहो सुखम कालेन सर्वत्र गभीर रंगसा गौरिया गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु समबॉडी पुटिंग क्वेश्चन टू श्रीला प्रभुपाद विथ चैलेंजिंग मूड हैव यू सीन भगवान हैव यू सीन भगवान इन योर लाइफ समबॉडी आस्किंग टू प्रभुपाद विथ चैलेंजिंग मूड Pova speaking. Well, what it concern to you? If I see Bhagwan, what will go and come? If I don't see Bhagwan, what will go and come? You like to see Bhagwan or not? You like to see? You speak. Gauriya Goshi Bhati, Sisi La Bhakti Shidhanto Saraswati Goshami Jagat Pova. To him. Somebody putting question. Have you seen Bhagwan in your life? Papa speaking. Well, if I see, what it concern to you? You like to see or not? Material people. They are always with challenging mood. Material people. They are always with challenging mood. They are less interested about. A prakita jagat, sadhu, guru, vishnu, they have no respect. They don't understand. Material people, what they can see, with his eyes, what they can see. Material people, with his eyes, what they can see. They can see some stool and urine. Man, woman, blood and flesh, that they can see. This is the vision power. That is their vision power. They can see. That is their vision power. What they can see. That's why many times Bobad used to say, used to tell. There is a gulf difference between this transcendental world. And material world, there is a gulf difference. There is a gulf difference between transcendental world, a prakita jagat, and material jagat. Bhajan mean to rectify your bhajan mean to rectify your darshan. What do you mean by bhajan? Bhajan means to rectify your darshan. This is bhajan. I can rectify by darshan, and finally, I can have the fine darshan of aprakriti yoga. All creature, all jiva, all beast and bird, all they have that darshan. Don't have a tiger have their own darshan, elephant has their own darshan, according to previous saska. A tiger when going to see you or see one nice woman, the tiger can think it is my meal. Noon time I can take very nice food. That is their darshan. So all jiva, not only man, all jiva, not only man. They have their respective darshan. They have their respective darshan according to their previous sanskar. Because your darshan is backed by your sanskar. Your darshan is always getting one kind of backing according to your previous sanskar. That you can see. Nobody can change darshan forcefully. Only by the mercy of Guru Vishnu, it is possible to rectify our vision. Now, what we are watching, 
now what is, what we are watching was seeing everything it is not perfect darshan it is incomplete darshan it is perverted darshan it is perverted the it is dirty darshan now we cannot see anything perfectly out of false ego we can say i have seen myself what do you say i have seen myself what you have seen out of false ego somebody can say i have seen personally i have seen but what you have seen your darshan is okay okay or not because bonded soul they are always having some imperfection bonded soul they are hearing imperfect they are watching imperfect they are speaking in perfect what they can see imperfect that's why in shastra it is written bonded soul they have brahma pramad vipralipsa karna pata four define four different kind of defects are already there brahma pramad vipralipsa karna pata you can make mistake somebody is speaking something gurudev you understand something pramad vipralipsa you have your self cheating propensity you have your self cheating propensity you don't know you think you are very clever actually actually it is a nature of people they think i am very intelligent everybody who not you see who not everybody think i am very intelligent really they are intelligent but according to their own estimation you are intelligent but according to your own estimation not according to my estimation not according to the estimation of gauranga mahapur nityananda you are intelligent okay according to your own estimation but actually you are not intelligent in true sense you are not intelligent because bhagwan sri krishna speaking to uddhav after getting this human body after getting this human body thinking power rationality everything you have na if you cannot understand that what is there after living this body nobody thinking those who are going to think maharaj this body this appliances everything is that all or after living body where i can go after living body where i can go prabha speaking we should think over and again we should think over and again on this point after living this body where we can go nobody thinking they think it is all they think it is all okay nice but nice when what nice so everybody thinking they are intelligent but those who can realize that something is there something is there beyond this life beyond this creation something there secret by your own power you cannot know by your own power by your own effort you cannot know that absolute truth absolute truth can never be known by challenging mood absolute truth can never be known by the absolute truth, by challenging mood that's why prabhupad many time used to say that logical interpretation that logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth we are now in this world which is called 
apparent truth. I know, I know, I know he is your son. I know he is your son. But how long? He is your son. But after living body, where son can go, you can go. That is called relative world. It's called relative. The theory of relative, relativity was discovered by Einstein. Einstein giving very ex nice example. When you are when you are enjoying in a very nice place, then you can think a time is gone very quickly. When you are enjoying mood, very absorbing enjoyment, you can say, well, so quickly those days gone. But when I compel you to run over hot, hot sand, I can give you punishment when you walk over hot sand. In scorchy sunlight, you walk. You can walk for five minutes, you can think, oh my God, time is not going. It's called relative. Popad wrote, Popad wrote, Popad wrote one small book, small theatrice, very small book. Truth, real and apparent. Popat wrote one book, it's called Truth, Real and Apparent. All this whole world creation, except Aprakite Jagat. Aprakite Jagat is not relative world. This whole infinity world is under the control of this relative truth. But nobody can realize. This is the arrangement of Maya. Maya cannot allow you to understand the fact. Maya cannot allow you to see what is what. But when you can go out of Maya, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, then you can discover, oh really, this is my sarup, I am not body. Bonded soul, I already told, Brahma, Pramad, Vipralipsa, Karna, Pata. Karna, Pata. They have some defects. They cannot see. When you can rectify, when you are successful to rectify all these kind of defects, then and only then you can get entry into Aprakita Jagat. You can see Aprakita Vastu, Aprakita Vastu Nahe Prakita Gocha. In course of traveling this in you know, 14 world, in course of traveling this 14 world, somehow by chance, somehow by chance, you take this human body and you have the chance to come to Navadip. Navadip Dham, come on. How many crores of people all over the world there? Who is going to care to come to Navadip Dham? You are so lucky. Parat Parakrishya, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. Only if you come here, take the dust particle from the ground, then you are successful. So lucky you are. But people, they like to see everything with this material eyes. Popad used to say that we cannot see Supreme Lord. We cannot see Dham. We cannot see Dham. We cannot see Supreme Lord. We cannot see. Rather, we will have to do something so that they become interested to see me. One day, one devotee in Chaitanya Mahat, long ago, Chaitanya Mahat. There, Aarati going on. After Aarati is over, some devotee requesting to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, we cannot see, we cannot see deity perfectly. Because the aperture is very small, gapping. Very small. How we can see? 
because aparcha, the gate is very small, we cannot see Bhagavan properly. Supreme Lord. I mean, Radha Govinda Guru. Prabhupada immediately told, with these eyes, we cannot see Supreme Lord. With these eyes, we cannot see Supreme Lord. Rather, you will have to do something special so that Bhagavan become interested to see you. Before Dham Parikram, Brajamandal Dham Parikram, Prabhupada speaking continuously. Continuously Prabhupada, day after day, before starting Parikram, Prabhupada speaking Harikatha about the transcendental feature of Dham, those who are staying in Dham, how to, how to stay there in Dham, with what mood, with what mood you can stay in Dham, how, with what mood you can do Parikram. Prabhupada used to speak Harikatha continuously. Prabhupada speaking, if I come to Dham with a mood to see what is Govardhan, with a mood that there is a nice flower, I cut very nice ah, 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 in Dham. If I am going to express this kind of enjoying mood, if I am going to express this kind of enjoying mood, to enjoy the nature of Vrindavan, ah, so nice, Giriraj, Maharaj, this, that. This is not Dham Darshan. This is not Dham Darshan. If I try to enjoy some flower of Vrindavan, if I try to enjoy some fruits of Vrindavan, this is not enjoying mood. This is called enjoying mood. This is not called Dham Darshan. So, Prabhupada speaking, by hearing Harikatha, before watching, before you go to Dham, before you go to Dham, you will have to take preparation. Before you go to Dham, you will have to take preparation. How to go to Dham, how to do this, that. Otherwise, your parikram can bring some aparat. You are going parikram, but you can bring some aparat. Nothing else. I was speaking about the transcendental feature of Vrindavan. I was speaking yesterday. And the slok I started with is very important so Jashai Veheta Prajateta Lok Kovidaha. The reason for why we are living we we'll have to enjoy, get something special. It is our nature. Jashai vaheta prajate eta kovido nalabhate yad brahmatam pariyad talabhate dukkhabad annataho sukham kalena saravatra gavir rangasa. It is in Sloka, it is written Yatrai vaheta prajate eta kovido. For infinity period, we are traveling. I told na two days ago. Continuously we are traveling. Our parikram, our parikram going on, life after life. We are doing sansar parikram. Sansar is infinity. If I say you find the end of this sansar, can you find the end of this material world? No. Up to now, nobody can discover what is the end of this material world. After that, the question of Prakriti Jagat. Try to understand who is Bhagavan, omnipresent, omniscient, all knowledgeable personality. Our estimation is useless. If I think something about Bhagavan, about Dham, all useless, not good. Tasaiva heta prajateta kovidaha. Prajateta kovidaha. 
Those who are really intelligent, those who are really intelligent, they can realize past, present and future. They must try to get something which is beyond this material world. Tasvai vaheda prajate ta kovida nalabhade yad brahmatam upariyadha You are taking birth and you, know, you are taking birth, again you are dying. You are taking birth, again you are dying. Cyclic order. Now you took birth in German, next life who can say you can take birth in Africa? Who can say? Because Jivatma is eternal. You are going to leave your body, but Atma, the spirit is there. Spirit is not going to die, you know. But we are less interested about the benefit of that spirit. All common people, they are less interested. They are interested about body. Though they heard, the Atma is eternal, Atma is present, uh, living this, okay. But at that much, that much, after that nothing. They cannot progress further. To seek the interest, they cannot proceed further to seek the absolute interest of that Atma, Spirit. All, they all oblivion of that fact. They forget. They cannot remember. They hear, but they forget. They hear, I am going to die. Ah, oh, okay, no problem. When I can die? Long time after. And who can say, now after 10 minutes I can die? Is there any, is there any surety? Is there any guarantee of my death? If there is a, any guarantee certificate of my death, no certificate. Parikhit Maharaj got the certificate. Parikhit Maharaj got the certificate after seven days you can die. But you have no certificate. Parikhit Maharaj got the certificate after seven days. Within seven days you can do anything. But you have no certificate. I have no certificate. But still we are resting very nicely. Enjoying our life, like foolish. So it is written in the slogan, Tassai Vaheta Parijate Ta Kovida. Those who are really intelligent, they are trying to get that objective, that thing, which is rare, beyond this material. Nalabhade Yad Brahmatam Upariyada. Cyclic order of death and birth, death and birth, death and birth, going on. No solution. You are so intelligent that you cannot find any solution of this uh, taking, you uh, know, death and birth, death and birth. You are so intelligent. No solution you can find. But solution is there. Solution is already there, but nobody can to care. They cannot believe. I was speaking about the transcendental feature of Dhamma, Vrindavan Dham, Navadip Dham, I was speaking about. I was speaking that this Dham is not made up of, this Dham, this Navadip Dham is not made up of earth, air, or fire, this not. And you can, those who are sadhu, those who are pure devotee, they can see them. Those who are pure devotee, they can see them. That's why I told you a story, na? na one day before, Preman jana churita bhakti vilocha nena, shantaha sadaiva hidayesha viloka yanti, yang sama sundara machinta guna sarupam, govinda madhi purusham tamam bhajan. Preman jara churito. You have to apply prem, black. Like by the application of, you know, some special medicine, you can grow your vision power. You can grow your vision power. You can increase. It, you can increase your vision power for a long time. Everybody knows. They can buy and apply in eyes, their eyes become very nice. They can grow their vision power. But in Aprakita Jagat, 
This kind of medicine is not applicable. This kind of medicine you apply to see Bhagavan is not possible. So some special premanjana. If you develop tremendous love for Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, then automatically you can grow your vision power by the mercy of Guru Vishnu. I was speaking, Chinta Mani Pakara Sadmusu. Yesterday I was speaking. Chinta Mani Pakara Sadmusu Kalpa Bhikshu Laksha Briti Susurvi I was speaking yesterday. What is written? Chinta Mani Pakara Sadmusu. Here one diamond is available. In the whole world, nowhere available. It was called Kohinur. You heard the name. You heard the name of Kohinur, diamond. British people took away from India. Kohinur, it is also there. You know the valuation of that Kohinur? Who can give this big? Now in material world, this Kohinur is the most valuable thing. But now you think about the transcendental of them. Now you are doing valuation of this kind of jewel available here. But can you estimate? You have in your in your estimation about the cost of that you know jewel there available in Bindavanda, whereas already Brahma, Brahma out of his own experience, Brahma out of his own experience speaking. He has seen Chintamani Pakaru Sadmusukal Pabiksho. All Dham has transcendental jewel. Transcendental jewel. Yesterday I was speaking, na? When Akbar Vasa, the king Akbar, asking, sir, you give me some seva. Oh, no seva, I have. you give me some seva. Repeatedly speaking. So nothing was very well. That the staircase broken. You can rectify it. The king become upset. I am king. He can ask anything from me. He is going to repair this not matching for me. Na. I am king. It is not appropriate. It is one kind of uh, you know, insult. But when Sanatan Gosai could realize, the king feel disturbance. When Sanatan Gosai could realize that King, out of his false ego, going to misunderstand me. I mean, Sonatan Gosai. Then Sonatan Gosai is speaking that staircase. That staircase broken. You see, then Akbar Vasa, when watching, he is watching Vrindavan. When Sonatan Gosai is watching, you see a dam. Then Akbar Vasa, by the power of Sanatan Gosai, watching the Vrindavan Dham. Oh my God! Gone mad. He is begging for apology. Excuse me. Out of false ego, I was feeling something else. But it is not possible for me to rectify. Repairing. Repairing of their staircase is not possible. Because one jewel, one one jewel fitted there. If I sell whole country, whole of my country, under my control, I cannot, impossible. So you see, that's why in Chaitanya Bhagavad routine, same dham, same Prabhu, still there. But if you, if you have your eyes, you can see, if you are blind, then you cannot see. You can see, provided you have your appropriate eyes. Preman jana churita bhakti vilochana. That's why it is a rule to go to dham under the guidance of a pure devotee. You cannot believe me, I know. You have false ego. It is my duty to cut your false ego, provided you are ready. 
otherwise I cannot cut. Because Bhardhaji is separate, Ishvatantra, personal desire. Bhardhaji, having free will, he can obey me or cannot obey me. What I can do? Bhardhaji can obey me or cannot obey me. That's up to him. That's why we cannot see this Dharma. Not possible. But under the guidance of, you know, it is written by Vrindavan Das Thakur Mahasaya, same Dham, same Bhagavan and Parikar, all there. But we cannot see. If there is Prema, then we can see. That's why it is a ruse to see Dhamma, to do Parikram under the guidance of a realized soul, pure soul. Like Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, like Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, you can go to take darshan. Because they have their power to give you some, real, they have their power to give you to give you realization. They have the power to give you realization. All Nityananda Prabhu going to help Jiva Goswami path to do Parikram. Ishan Thakur going, Ishan Thakur going to help Srinivas Achajyo to do Dham Parikram. There also you can go to Vrindavan. There Mahaprabhu, he is Supreme Lord himself, going to take the help of Brajavasis. He himself is Supreme Lord, but going to take help of Brajavasis to do Parikram, Raga Pandit, he is a great Vaishnava, our Srinivas Achajyo, Narutama Thakur, they all have done Parikrama under the guidance of Raga Pandit, there is the rules. Yesterday I was speaking. Gaura Amar Jeshavasthano Korola Brahmana Range Sheshavasthano Haribo Ami Pranavi Bhakta Sangha. It is written. Those who have Pranavi Bhakta, Pranavi Bhakta Mane, those who have deep relationship with Bhagavan, tremendous relationship. Loveful, loveful relationship with Bhagavan. Those who are having loveful relationship with Bhagavan, only and only under their guidance it is possible to see Dharma. I already told that Dharma is Baldev Tattva. Dharma is Baldev Tattva, Dharma is infinity. Dhamma is actually, Dham is Balev Tattva. I already told. Baladev Tattva is more and more merciful. Bhagavan going to manifest in the form of Dham, Nam, Parikar, devotees, Bhagavan coming. Bhagavan coming in the form of Bhagavan manifesting himself. Bhagavan manifesting himself in the form of devotees, dham, nam, all. Bhagavan going to manifest to give, to give up the, to give us, to give us the facility, to give us the facility, to realize something which is transcendental or prakita. It's possible. Before starting. Dham, Popad used to say so many things, and after Parikram is over, when devotee is coming to take permission from Popad, we are going, eh? we are going, eh? he give me permission. Then Popad used to cry. They are taking permission from Popad. Popad, you permit, we are going away eh? to home. Popad cannot speak anything. Popad crying. Because those bonded soul, they got the opportunity to do, to do Dham Parikram, to hear Harikatha, to take prasadam with all sadhu. 
for the consecutively for one month or seven days or ten days, whatever program. But now they are again going to jump into fire. Now they are again going to jump into fire. What to do? Our solution, I already told, our solution is like, our solution is like jumping into fire from frying pan. This is our solution. Our solution is like jumping into fire from a frying pan. This is our solution. We cannot understand what is solution. But anyway, for bonded soul, Dham Parikram is, can bring some evolution in their life. To come in Dham, do some Parikram, anyway, okay, bonded soul. At least if they cannot do any aparat, okay, they can get some Sukriti, very nice. Very good. They can come to Dham, take some Darshan, go here and there. Okay, very nice. But under the guidance of one pure devotee, not personality. Srila Bhakti Deito Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Puma Turi Goswami Maharaj, all and all other disciples like Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, they are all there. They are doing Parikram. Parikrama going on, Srila Bhakti Deito Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Dancing and shedding tears. Madhu Goswami Maharaj, while Brajamandal Parikrama, Bajodam Parikrama, Vindavan Dham, Madhu Goswami is crying and doing so sweet kirtan. Those who are, those who are outside people, outside mill, those who are not Bengali. Those who are not Bengali, because Madhu Goswami is singing in Bengali. Those who are outside Punjabi people, or uh, those who are speaking Hindi, or they cannot understand, Uriya, other language. But Madhu Goswami is crying, Ho oh, Brajavasi, you all show me where is Krishna. Yesterday I told, na? our life is meant for the search of Krishna. We left our room, we left, I left my home in search of Krishna. That is our only duty. Our whole life, the meaning, the meaning of our whole life, the meaning, actual meaning of our whole life is to search out Krishna. Because we are going to miss Krishna. Krishna is the only property. I mean Krishna Prema. Krishna Prema and Krishna non different. We are in search of Krishna Prem. Madhav Goswami is crying and speaking. Ho oh, Brajavasi, you show where is Krishna? Madhav Goswami is crying and doing Kirtan. And those who are non Bengali, those who are non Bengali, they are also crying. Why they are crying? They don't know reason. Why they are crying? What they understand? Why they are crying? They don't know. Madhav Goswami is crying. All devotees all around, they are also crying. Then our Bharti Maharaj asking to one devotee of Punjab, Mataji, why you are crying? You understand something? Because that Mataji, that Mataji approaching Bharti Maharaj, that Mataji approaching Bharti Maharaj and speaking, uh, actually, Guruji, I mean Bhakti Vita Madhu Guruji, what speaking? Bengali? Then Bharti was speaking, you don't understand what? Well, I don't. Then why you are crying? Then Mataji speaking, asking to Bharti Maharaj, Guruji, I mean Madhu Guruji, what speaking? By Kirtan? I like to hear. Then Bharti Maharaj asking, you don't understand? Well, no, I don't. Then why you are crying? Why you are crying? Well, I don't know the reason. I don't know the reason for why I am crying. Because it is unknown telepathy. Telepathy, you know? It is unknown telepathy. You have no information. 
when Guru Pad Padma crying and doing, if you have a connection with Guru Pad Padma, that kind of feeling can go and touch your heart. Like one fire, one fire is there. One fire is there. You don't want to get hot environment. But anyway, without asking, follow. There is a huge fire blowing. You are there. You don't want hot, hot. But still, without wanting, you will have to get some hot. Without expectation, you will have to get some light. You don't want, but it is natural. You don't want to get hot. It is not winter season. So that you can, okay, there is some hot. Ah, very nice. No. Not there. But without expectation, without your desire, you are bound to get some hot environment. You are bound to get a light without any expectation. That's why if you are not going to commit any aparad anyway, only if you are not doing any aparad, try to understand. If at all you are not going to do any aparad, then surely you are going to get benefit by the association of Guru Vaishnav, Dham, Harikatha, surely. But if there is opera, then I cannot put any guarantee. Suppose you are coming from outside, you have no idea about Gauriya Vajan, nothing. But still, anyway, without expectation, you are going to get some benefit. Surely you can get benefit. Surely you can get benefit. You don't know what benefit you are getting. But really, you are going to get benefit. Day by day by day by day, you can realize. Unknowingly, you can grow your consciousness. You can have some kind of very beautiful mood, shaktik mood. You can express your desire to hear more and more Harikatha. More and more kitchen from Guru. Why you are expecting, you don't know. It's an automatic fact. When, when Sila Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj and Sila Bhakti Doito Madhu Goswami Maharaj, both of them used to do Dham Parikram. Navadip Dham Parikram or Vrindavan Dham Parikram. It was the responsibility of Sila Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj. I mean, the responsibility given by Madhu Gusima. You are my senior godfather. You can speak all about the glory, glorification of the different spot, different places of pilgrimage and Hari. According to that, Bhakti Pama Puri Gusima, Guru Mahaj used to speak Harikatha. Used to speak Harikatha. In old age, he was very slow. Actually, whole life, Guru Padma was very slow. Slow means tranquil, very, very gentle. But in Dham Parikram, that time, old age, old age, na, he used to do Parikram gradually, after, very slowly. Old age, you know, with a stick, tag, tag, doing Parikram. But those who are material people, not, not devotee. They feel disturbance. They're speaking, we are already late. Maharaj is very slow. We cannot go and take prasadam on time. <laughs> then Sila Abhakti Gaitam, Abhakti Vallabhtitya Goswami Maharaj, he become very angry. He became very angry. Go! Go quickly. Go and take prasadam and take rest. This is your life. This is your life. We like to take prasadam and take rest. This is your life. Go. Quickly, go. Go quickly. We can go. We can go. We can follow Bhakti Pama Puri Gushima. Who can show them? You can see them. Who can show? So we can go. We can follow him. Maybe he is slow. He is going to Radha Kund. Going to pray prostrated dandavat, shedding tears, 
Lalita Kun, Sam Kun, Radha Kun, after that, going to speak about the glorification of that place. After that, moving far, moving farther. If you are not going to get any interest, then how you can be? Bonded so they cannot get any interest in travelling 20 kilometers, 24 kilometers. But we are getting interest. We are doing Govardhan Parikam, 24 kilometers. Daily, I used to do daily. I used to do daily Govardhan Parikam when I was there in Binda. Daily, 24. Someday double, 48 kilometers. Someday double, Parikram. So, surely I am... I have some interest, I realize some, that's what I do. But those who are not realizing, they cannot understand, they can feel tired. They can feel tired, no? They can feel tired, they cannot do. That's why when Parikrama is going on, sometimes Guru Padmani used to say, you devotees, you devotees hear me. Your devotees hear me. Now time is over. Maybe you are hungry. So how I can speak Harikatha? You are very hungry. Time is over. Over time. So you will have to reach that spot and take prasadam. The how I can speak Harikatha? Then those who are nice devotees, they used to say, Maharaj, we are taking prasadam in our home, daily, taking rest. We are daily taking prasadam, rest, everything in home, on punctual time. We are not coming here to take prasadam on time to enjoy our life. We are not coming here to take prasadam on time and take rest. We are coming to realize something from you. Because without you, who can inculcate that feeling in us? Who can? So, we are less interested in our prasadam time. Okay, oh, we are not hungry, Maharaj. You go on speaking. Then Maharaj used to speak all the glorification of that place. Very, very slowly, gradually used to speak. If you have oneness, if you can grow oneness with Bhagavan and Dham, then you can enjoy. If you are going to make some gapping of Maya, Bhagavan is there, Dham is there, and you are here. Some, some gapping of Maya, some curtain, some screen, some curtain. That screen, that curtain cannot allow you to see them. That's why, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, it is possible for us to see them. Dham is not a matter of my enjoyment. Dham is not a matter of my enjoyment. So that I can see them. Oh, nice garden, nice this, Giriraj Maharaj, ah, so nice. This is called enjoying mood. This is called enjoying mood. We are all in enjoying mood. We are all in enjoying mood. That's why Dham Darshan is not possible for us. But we can see Dham under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava is possible. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhagavan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagavan Himself, is the Supreme Lord. He is still going to show us how to do Dham Parikram, how to stay in Dham, how to do Parikram, all Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu, each and every ban, ban you know, forest. There is main twelve forest. Mainly, ma mainly there is twelve forest. It is eighty-four crores. 
by your material according to your material estimation you can see you can see there is 84 crores and around approximately in a kilometer around 500 kilometers around not exactly one cross is equal to seven and a half mile i think so after that you will have to convert that mile two and a half mile is equal to one two and a half kilometer is equal to one mile if you calculate, then you can find around 500 kilometers of the dam. According to your estimation. But dam is beyond our estimation. Dam is beyond our estimation. But you can see a dam is uh, 84 kilometers. 84, Churasi cross. Not kilometer, 84 cross. You can find. So do so to this dam is like one lotus flower. That dam is like one I can discuss tomorrow. Dam is like lotus flower. Just like a lotus flower. In the morning time, by the help of sunlight, in the morning time, by the help of sunlight, the lotus flower opening in full fledged form. Huh? It is just like lotus flower. It is already written. In Brahma Sangita, it is already written. Sahasapattam Kamalam. It is already written. Sahasapattam Kamalam. Sahasapattam Kamalam. Gokulaksham Mahapadam. Tat Karanika Aram. Tat Anantangsha Shambhava. Tat Dham Anantangsha Shambhava. It is Aprakito lotus flower. Sometime Expanding, something contraction. Expansion and contraction going on according to the desire of Krishna. According to the arrangement of Yogamaya, Dham can expand, Dham can automatically. That's why I many times I told that time, space and matter Time, space and matter conception, not applicable in Dham. Time, space and matter conception, not applicable in Dham. It is applicable here. What to speak about Dham? We cannot see Dham. If I take you to some other planet, if I take you to some other planet where actually Four dimensions there, not three dimensions. Three dimensions we are habituated in three dimensions. But if you if I take you to the one da, one planet where it is four dimensions there, there is so many planets here and there, the different places, somewhere four dimension, somewhere five dimension, somewhere six dimension. You cannot see. Because your eyes, your vision power is adapted. Your vision power is adapted with, adapted with three dimensions. Length, breadth and height. Length, breadth and height. This you understand. So, Dham, you know, I already told, is like lotus flower, transcendental lotus flower. Sometime expansion, some contraction. By the will of Bhagavan, according to Leela, Yogamaya is going to arrange everything. I know, I know that at present, that what you call Vindavan, at present what you call, actually whole Vindavan. Nandogram, Javod, this is all Vindavan. But now, local people, they think it is, it is Vindavan. I mean, the, the city Vindavan. Actually, Vindavan is whole. Up to Kamban. Nobody knows. Kamban is also Vindavan. But now, 
we purposely, for our own facility, we say, this is Vindhava. Vindhava and whole. Now my question is that, if Krishna Bhagavan is going to join Radharani, if Krishna Bhagavan is going to join Radharani very quickly, he will have to take some big vehicle, no? No vehicle there. Or can ride one horse? No. Then how it is possible that 70 kilometers he can cover for Nandagram, Vrindavan, quickly coming? How possible? Where is Nandagram? From Nandagram, if you go to Vrindavan, how many kilometers? You calculate in your car, mile, 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 and a mile, mileage. How is possible? How it is possible for Radharani to come out from Jabagao, Jabat, and reach Radhakund? How to reach Kushum Saravar? Again, after Kusum, again go to Radhakund. Again going to Suryakund. How oh. possible? Just now Radharani was there. Just now Radharani was there in Kusum Saravar. How Maharaj is possible to reach you know, and uh, Radhakund? I absurd. They can say absurd. Because they don't know the nature of Dham. They don't understand the transcendental nature of that Dham. They have no idea. They have no idea about the transcendental nature of Dham, feature of Dham. I can show you the writing of Kobi Karnapur, you know. Who is Kobi Karnapur, you know? Who is Kobi Karnapur? Foolish. Who is Kobi Karnapur? He is the son of Sivananda Sen. He is a great devotee. Great devotee is writing so many writings. So powerful writing. Whom Mapu wanted to apply the first finger of the leg, right hand leg, mouth. The boy is there. Mahapu is going to extend his right hand leg and the main finger going to put into the mouth of that leg. Now we understand who is that Kobi Karnapu. So lucky. You understand who is Kobi Karnapu. That Kobi Karnapu, he was a great, you know, Vaishnava. His writing is so powerful. Even ordinary Pandit cannot understand. Ordinary Pandit, they can understand. It was so nice writing. Kobi Karnapur. Kobi Karnapur in one place. Chaitanya Charitamrita Mahakabhyam, one book. Here writing that how possible? Goranga Mahapu is there inside Gombira temple. A very small place. Gombira temple a very small. You've been there, na? Gombira, you never go. You go? Ah. Very small place. Then Kobi Karnapur writing, how possible that thousands of people getting accommodation there? Strange. Thousands of people, they're coming and going, coming and going. How possible? Accommodation, how possible? Thousands of people, how their accommodation, how possible? The small area. Then Kobi Karnabu writing that Gombira temple is a Bibu Vastu. It is, it is Dharma where Gauranga Mahapu is staying, uh, there in Gombira temple. So it is automatically Dharma. So your conception, so your conception, so your material conception of time, space and matter not applicable there. Not applicable there. It is Bibu Vastu. So thousands of people going, take darshan of Prabhu, coming out, again going, how accommodation possible? Similarly, I told, maybe two, three years before, four years before, that Dhamma is a Vibha Vastu, contraction and expansion, quite natural. Those devotees, devotees mean Brajavasis, like Radharani, and they are less interested about time factor. Try to realize this point. 
they are less interested about time factor. They never worry about, uh, now time is over, how I can go? They are only busy in absorbing seva mood. This is only their duty. They are only busy with the absorbing seva mood. They are not going to calculate the distance, how long distance, oh my God, 70 kilometers, how I can go? <laughs> they are not thinking. Only they are, they are only doing seva absorbing. How to go, when to go, time is over. They have no calculation. Time, space and matter is not applicable there. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya. Jogamaya can, they are walking, they are walking, na, absorbing mood, Baba. They cannot say, so quickly how I can come? They cannot say. Because they are absorbingly in Seva. How quickly going, how slow, they can be so late, no calculation. It is the arrangement of Jogamaya. Jogamaya is going to control the whole factor. Jogamaya is going to control the whole factor. Where to go, how to go, time adjustment, all, aprakita <laughs> time adjustment, all Jogamaya, all Jogamaya. It is the responsibility of Jogamaya. How to reach? Surya Kundo, I was, I've been there, I was there in Surya Kundo, I know the distance. From Radha Kundo, long distance of sunlight with the luggage in the head. Talk, talk, talk. I know, I have practical experience. And each and every time, the stone chip can come in your leg. Stone chip and thrown. I am not speaking any story in front of you. I have practical experience, I know. There is dense forest. Dense forest meant no, animal not there, but see, jackal can be there, snack can be there. We are going. I am going with all luggage, heavy luggage on head, reaching Surya Kund. And you can see the footprint of snack. I can take you. In the daytime, if you go, you can see there is jigjag. Big, big snack. The marking. Yes. Big marking here. Snack going. Morning time is Just evening time, night time, they can come out. So I understand this. So it is a, it is a arrangement of Jogumaya. It is an arrangement of... I have seen snack while doing Parikram for a long time. Money, not one time, so many times. I have seen snack, snack marking, everything. But never they bite me, they never make any disturbance in my life. Not even one ant cutting me. What is a miracle? Never feel dysentery, never feel headache, never feel, never feel. Fever, miracle, never, so many times I've done. With rain coming, wet clothes, no clothes, I'm going. In rain, no umbrella, umbrella, where I get it. But that cloth drying in my body, but still no catching cold, nothing. No surety of prasadam, where and how I can get accommodation, no surety. But I can go and search where to sleep night time. No surety. Who can give me accommodation? Who can give me prasadam? Bhagavan can give. Bhagavan can arrange. Why I can play my head over this cheap issue? If at all I am interested about my body, about right time prasadam, sleeping rest, why should I go to them? I should not go to them. If I am interested about body facility or different kind of facility, physical, Amenities, I should not go. Dham is not such a thing. Dham is not such a thing, you can go and... So, and one thing very important, by car, Dham Parikama is not possible. But still people do it. They will touch, they will touch the dust particle 
everywhere. I can speak tomorrow how Prabhupada used to do Parikram, our Guru Maharaj, Madhukushi Maharaj, how Prabhupada, I, I know, Prabhupada and I know, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, I can day by day, I can go on speaking all about this very important issue, practical experience. I am not making any story. So, I feel very nice. I feel very nice. As if, as if I can watch everything in my dream. I can see all the place in dream. As if in dream, practically. I am not sleeping, just like dream coming. All places. When, which year, what happened? So tasaiva heta prajate heta kovida nalabhati yad brahmatam pariyad talabhati dukkha bad annata ho sukham kalena sarvatra gavir rangasa vanchakalpadrosa ke basindvacha patitanang pavane bhavishnam.